So apart from finishing Beto's gloves, I've also been doing a lot of agility on the side as uh, I've been running around questing without full graceful. That's not a good look. However, I don't know why I have not recorded like any of my levels. And this is a level you just have to record. Level 73 agility. Joy. Apologies for the uh, messed up screen, but... So there's 73 agility. Right now we are looking at 206 marks of grace. I believe it is 260 marks of grace in total. So we are getting... We're getting pretty close. We almost have full grace. Well, apologies again for not recording any of those clips. That actually sounds pretty sketch, like, oh yeah, don't worry guys, I've been training agility, just I have no footage to show you. <clears throat> totally not botting. <clears throat> Okay, so this is the end of the full graceful grind. Now, it's weird to say the word grind, because like I said, I really did not record like any agility footage on this account, just because I just played it on the side, but there we go. There is Mark of Grace number 260. So the, uh, the final agility level is 74. Of course, my first like 60 agility levels all came from Barbarian Fishing, so... From level 61, I believe, to 74 is what it took to get uh, 260 Marks of Grace. So, uh, yeah, let's head to Berthorpe and go buy the set. Alrighty, Grace. I will take one of your finest graceful set. Now, had I been questing while I was getting my Marks of Grace, I could have bought, like, the individual pieces, but... I don't know, it feels a lot more satisfying to just buy every piece at once, so... Hood, cape, top, legs, gloves, and boots. And there we go. There is full graceful, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on Iron Mammal, it took me literally years to recolor it, and I'm probably going to do that again. So, I'll recolor this eventually, but to be honest, this was, uh, this was really backwards. I got Barrow's gloves, and then full graceful, which makes no sense, okay? If you're playing an Iron Man, please, get your graceful first, and then quest. Do as I say, not as I do. Well, now that we are done with full graceful, the next thing I'm gonna do is work on getting defenders. In order to get defenders, I need to get 65 attack and strength. So to do that, of course, I'm gonna do Slayer. Before I do Slayer, though, right now, all I have for, like, potions is regular attack potions, which is bad. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some money real quick. I am going to buy a dragon battle axe. And I do have the the uh, the herb lore to make super attacks. So I'm going to buy a dragon battle axe and use super attacks. And uh, then my slayer should go quite a bit more quickly. We are making big moves. We got Barrow's gloves and now we're doing slayer with this bad boy right here. Ah! You love to see it. You love to see it. Uh, for now, because I don't really have any regular uh, uh, restore potions, after my dragon battle axe, I am going to regular attack pot and then super attack. It's a little weird, but it gets the job done. Hey, there it is. That didn't take very long at all. There is the lovely rune kite shield. So that is currently the best shield I have. Uh... And it probably will be my best shield until I get a crystal one, so... It's like my first major drop, it feels like. So there's the rune kite. Um, I know these guys also drop a, a rune warhammer, so I may try to get that as well. And there we go, there is level 65 strength. I did miss the level up message, but it's in the chat box, so... There is one half of the <clears throat> Warrior's Guild requirements done. So now that we're 65 uh, strength, we move on to attack, so... 60 to 65 attack is next. Alright, so I'm about to finish my task of lesser demons. Uh, we also just got level 60 hit points, which did push us over level 75 combat. At level 75 combat, you unlock Konar. I'm gonna get a task from Konar, which... I don't think Konar is the greatest at my level, but 
The extra loot from the keys is pretty nice, so... I'm just gonna pray that I don't get assigned a terrible task. Okay, I'm kinda nervous, but, uh, Konar, what do you have for me? 155 Blue Dragons. Um... Well, I guess I can do the babies. Those are probably pretty good attack XP, I, I guess. Alright, there's the baby blue dragon task completed. We're up to 63 attack. I, uh, unfortunately did not get any brimstone keys, so... This game's clearly rigged. Alright, task number three. What do you have? 157 hellhounds in the witch haven dungeon. What do you mean, witch haven dungeon? Oh, Christ. Uh, this should be good XP, I guess. I just gotta pray for, like, the whole thing. And there you have it. The very first brimstone key of the account. <clears throat> when this ask is done, I'll check that out. Hopefully I get something good. Alrighty, I believe on this hellhound, I should be getting a 65 attack. Which is very exciting. Defenders are a massive upgrade in terms of, uh... Well, they're just a massive gear upgrade. My, uh, my training should start going significantly faster once I get these defenders, but that's the thing. I have to get the defenders first. In in all of my previous accounts on this game, like, I, I've always had really good defender luck. Hopefully that trend continues. I didn't just jinx myself, but... <clears throat> oh, God. Okay. Um, I guess my, my mental math is wrong. I'm going to get the level on this hellhound. Never mind. There we go. All right. There we go, there is level 65 attack, so we are now both 65 attack and strength, which means we can enter the Warriors Guild. Uh, before we do that, I'm gonna go hand in this Brimstone Key, because I want to see what it is. What do we get? I actually, I guess at this stage of my account, it would be better to get, like, supplies than, like, a Mystic Dust piece, so I actually don't want the rare stuff. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I won't be able to use those for a very, very long time, but I'll take it. Well, since I am now 65 attack and strength, my defense level is lagging behind pretty far. So, the entire time that I am grinding for these defenders, I am going to train defense. We're starting at 56, so we'll see what level we get to. Oh, I guess that seemed kind of insignificant, but I guess it wasn't. We just got 58 defense, which gave us 1,250 total. So, that is the first total level world we can access. Beautiful. Ah, yes, there it is. And so it begins. There is the bronze defender that took... I've been running a timer. That took 27 minutes to get the bronze defender. So, hopefully they get a little faster from here on out. Oh yes, you love to see it. There's the Iron Defender significantly faster that time. That went by way quicker. That took legit like five minutes, so... Here we go! It's picking up, boys! Holy shit, the Defenders are flying in now. Oh my. I'm legit... I, I, I got the Iron and the Steel Defender. Legit, like... I, I'm gonna guess like 20 tokens apart. That's beautiful. And if you could guess it, approximately five minutes later... There is the Black Defender! And we are on to the Mithril. This is insane. There are probably people watching this video right now. And it took them like 10,000 tokens to get like one Defender. And they're furious. I'm sorry. But there's a the Black one. We're on to Mithril. Oh yes! We are just fucking cruising right now, dude. There's the Mithril Defender. What? <laughs> I can't believe this. This is ridiculous. I am flying through these things. And there we go. There is the Adamant Defender. That one took a little bit longer, but that's alright. All we have left now is the Rune. After that, we are on to the basement. Well, I am pretty much out of Warrior Guild tokens, so it looks like, unfortunately, our 1,000 tokens did not get us to Rune, but it did get us close. So, I'm gonna get like 500 more tokens, and uh, we'll see where that gets us. Alrighty, there we go. There is the Rune Defender. I, uh, went back and I got 500 tokens. So, now that we have the Rune Defender, that leaves us with... Actually, I don't need to do that. That leaves us with 330 tokens to try to get the Dragon. Which I sincerely doubt that I will, but, hey, you never know. Oh, baby. 
There she is. Just look at it. Just look at it. That was so fast, dude. I don't remember exactly how many tokens I came in with, but that did not take long at all. So, there she is. There is the Dragon Defender on the Hardcore Iron Man. That's beautiful. So, the gear is looking so much better now. We got the Torso, Barrow's Gloves, the Dragon Defender... Uh, really the next big gear upgrade I should probably do is my necklace. Right now we're still rocking the Amulet of Power, and I should really try to get an Amulet of Glory at some point. Well, this is pretty much the only thing you can get from a hard task. A hard- wait, what did I just say? This is the only thing you can get from a Hellhound task. A hard clue. Can I actually do it though? Okay, Ranging Guild- wait, wait, wait. I'm 43 range. Can I get in? I don't even know. Okay. So we can do step number one of the clue scroll. What is step number two? NANI? <laughs> F fuck it. Okay, we finished up our hellhound task. Let's go ahead and get a new one. Fire giants. In the catacombs of Korend. That might take a while, but that should be pretty good XP, I guess. And we have ourselves a brimstone key. What do we get? More dragon dart tips. Jesus. I can't use these. I mean, it, it's a good drop. You know, it, it is good. Well, what do you know? I'm like 10 kills in. There's a rune scimitar. Maybe I should have killed these uh, instead of ZMI warriors back in the day. I say back in the day like it wasn't like two months ago, but you know what I mean. Brother. I'm telling you. I think Fire Giants love this account. Because I've probably killed about 15 more. And there is another rune skim. And so it begins. The first of, I'm sure, many long bones. <laughs> okay, I mean, this is great. I, I, I don't know why in my mind I'm like complaining. Because this is literally just pure alk money. But <laughs> this is weird. So, one of the next major goals I want to get done on my hardcore is I would like to do Lunar Diplomacy. Uh, unlocking the Lunar Spellbook is very important for the crafting grind, because on the Lunar Spellbook, there is a spell called Molten Glass Make, which makes crafting so much better. Uh, the problem is, I need to get level 61 crafting for this quest. Right now, I'm level 51. And I did the math. If I make lantern lenses, I need to make 2,911. Luckily, this game is easy now, so I can buy these empty bucket packs. And then I will go manually fill these buckets with sand, and uh, then we can start working on getting 61 crafting. Alrighty, I've been at it for a few hours, and I think I have all the buckets of sand that I need. We got 2,944, so should be a little extra. Oh, just in case you were wondering, I did time it. If you cannot teleport to the Yanil POH, it is faster to walk over to the Zanaris sand pit than it is in Yanil. So if you're walking from here to here, that is faster than walking from the Yanil bank to the Yanil sand pit. Just in case you wanted to know. But yeah, there's the buckets of sand done. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the, uh, the seaweed and stuff. Alrighty, I believe this is going to give me level 23 farming, which means we can now grow giant seaweed. I imagine at this level, the amount of giant seaweed that I would get per seed is not going to be very good, but at least I can start. That's something. So, I'm going to finish this farm run, and then I guess we'll go collect some giant seaweed. So, unfortunately, I don't have any way to kill lobstrosities, which is... The way that I got seaweed spores on my main Iron Man. Um, but what I will do instead... Oops. What I will do instead is when you're underwater, um, seaweed spores just randomly spawn. And I quite literally have nothing but time. So... I think I'm just going to hang out down here for a while and uh, pick up whatever seaweed spores spawn slowly but surely. So my first set of seaweed is done, which I think takes approximately 50 minutes. And if you look at my inventory, I've got 23 seaweed spores. So I haven't killed anything. I've literally just sat still here. Oh, look, there's two more. 
I've legit just sat still down here, and I've gotten 25 seaweed spores, so... Not bad. I am curious, though, at my farming level, how many giant seaweeds will I get? I'm not expecting it to be much. I've got kind of a bad feeling. If I'm getting, like, 10, though, that's... That's pretty good. That's the equivalent of, like, 70 soda ash. Okay, there's 10. So we're already higher than my expectations. And we got a farming level? Okay, okay. This ain't bad so far. And because I'm standing here so I can collect spores, whenever these get diseased, I can just cure them right away. So this is actually not a bad system at all right now. Alrighty, so this is uh, pretty much a day and a half of me camping giant seaweed. So far, I've collected over 200 seaweed spores. And once I collect these two patches, I should have enough for my crafting goal. Uh, also, it has come to my attention that magic secatures do not work on giant seaweed, so... <clears throat> I feel like an idiot now. Okay, so we have 2944 buckets of sand and 479 seaweed. One giant seaweed is equivalent to six buckets of sand... So I take 24, 29, 44 divided by 6, 490. So I'm like, I'm, I'm short. Oh, for Christ's sake. I'm, I'm, I'm like 11 giant seaweed short, but you know what? Good enough. I'm going to start crafting. So I had a slight miscalculation. Well, not a miscalculation, but I guess I didn't realize this. So when I did crafting on Iron Mammal, I, I used giant seaweed. And when you use the Super Glass Make spell, it works fine. However, if you are making Molten Glass on a Furnace, it has to be Soda Ash. So, now that I have this giant seaweed, I need to turn it into Soda Ash by cooking it first. And then I can make it into Molten Glass. Alright, couple more inventories and we're done. This was ridiculously fast. I did the math and... When you, when you cook giant seaweed, it's something to the effect of, like, 7,000 soda ash per hour, so. Definitely did not take very long. Um, like I mentioned before, I am a little bit short, so I'll have to probably manually get just a little bit more, but. There we go. There is uh, all of our giant seaweed into soda ash. Now, we can go make it into molten glass. A quick update on the crafting, we just got level 55, which means we can now cut dragon stones and make dragon stone rings. And we can make the Slayer Helm, which is uh, a pretty cool level. Um, I think I have like a couple hundred more glass to make. And then we get to blow. Blow and blow and blow. We are coming up on level 61. I don't know why, maybe I did my math wrong, but I had way more than enough molten glass. Whereas, a couple of clips ago, I thought I wasn't going to have enough, so... I don't know. I must have done my math way wrong, but... There is 61 crafting, which is a requirement for Lunar Diplomacy. What I need to do now is get 65 magic. Which I am not sure how I'm going to do that. 